Morten Schobert, Austrist. So, hello everybody, Terre. My first job today is uh, to bring you from the lunch break mode to the conference session mode, okay? So what I tried today uh, is, or what I thought about, is to ask you some questions. So it would be kind if you just answer by raising your hands, okay? So the first question is, who of you is working in a hotel or in the hotel industry? Hands up. Okay. Who of you is working at a tourism destination? Okay. Uh, who of you is working for a tour operator? Also, very similar uh, the uh, parts. Uh, who is working in the leisure industry? Oh, nobody. <laughs> ah, one. Okay, here over there. Um, who of you has a brand strategy, a written brand strategy? Okay, nearly 10%. Who of you has um, a Facebook account? Oh, perfect. <laughs> who of you has a Twitter account? Who of you has tweeted from today from the conference? <laughs> Two? Oh, very fine. Which hashtag? Okay. <laughs> um, who of you uh, thinks that innovation is important? Okay. Who of you is offering innovative products? Ah, okay. Who of you would say he's a social media expert? No one? One? Okay. I don't believe. Who of you is using email? <laughs> Did you know that email was the first social media tool which is existing? It is building up relationship between two people and helps to make a very easy dialogue online. So all of you are social media experts. Thank you very much uh, for this beginning. Thank you for the introduction before. So, uh, the guy who is standing here in front of you and speak to and doing gymnastics with you now, uh, is speaking now the next 45 minutes. It's me. Um, why uh, could I stand here and speak to you? Um, I worked for the Austrian National Tourist Office for 12 years, and during working, I recognized that. Uh, we can communicate and do our marketing activities and ads as good as we want if the product is not good enough, if the product is not inspiring, if the product is not uh, an experience for the traveler. So uh, after 12 years I thought what could I do next and um, therefore I decided to open together with a landscape architect who uh, she, she uh, made a lot of product development in the tourism field uh, together my office and what we are currently doing is we are assisting brands, touristic brands to become meaningful experiences, to become re recognizable, to become memorable, to become tell able that the customers can tell to others. And what I recognized is that uh, there's one important point and thing we have to learn, all of us. It's uh, marketing, how it works uh, today or, or how it works the last uh, decades is not suitable for us anymore. There are other possibilities. And about these possibilities, I will tell you today. So, the way of marketing in an experience economy is how to manage uh, the marketing with uh, 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 the possibility to use social media, to use um, um, co-creation, the customer itself, to, be, uh, to develop new products. What does I mean with this? What you see here is a, a chart from Thomas Bechtal from Denmark and he uh, showed us very easy and very good 
how we can communicate today. Uh, over the last decades, there were first local marketplaces, which were really important. Then uh, newspapers, radio and television became more and more important during the years. And suddenly, other things occurred, like websites, blogs, sorry, social networks, and currently uh, new things like uh, podcasts uh, and videocasts are very important. But the important thing is they come together with the old media. So what we have uh, uh, to learn is to use all of them, to use um, uh, as well the old uh, traditional ones for communicating, for promoting our things uh, as the new ones. What I brought you with is a very good infographic. It's from uh, onlineschools.org. It shows you uh, the internet worldwide, how it uh, uh, appears. And what I brought to, uh, with you is uh, the social networks. Here on the map, you see the most important social network in each country, and you see how important is Facebook, but not everywhere. Okay, so uh, very interesting thing, and what uh, I always uh, also found very interesting, uh, within the last 30 seconds, uh, 128 uh, new interusers are on the, on the web. Uh, the infographic sh graphic shows, and also uh, they can measure uh, if it's a manic, a good day, or uh, a shitty day today, it's a good day. Fascinating. Um, also, uh, what I found fascinating, they show in their graph that each person is sitting 5 hours and 50 minutes per month in front of YouTube. Who of you has already sent a YouTube video via email to a friend or colleague? Raise your hands. Okay, nearly most of us. So. The thing is, like we saw in the video before, we have to, to recognize or to find out what comes next. Where should we be on board? And therefore, um, the Gartner, is a consulting company from the US, uh, developed a very interesting um, uh, hype cycle. And it's very easy. It shows uh, over the time, here in the horizontal, uh, the development of the product, and here it's uh, the visibility, how often it's, uh, people are talking about the products or uh, about the different uh, uh, developments in the media. And what's so fantastic is you see how the different things are growing. Currently on the peak, the most uh, active ones uh, are augmented reality apps. Who of you know augmented reality apps? I love them. Really, really cool thing. So remember, this will be really, really important thing in the future. So when I'm talking about the experience economy, what do I mean with it? This is uh, a graphic from Pine and Gilmore, who wrote a very interesting book about uh, experience economy. And they showed us that uh, it's a normal development of the different economies uh, first the agricultural economy, then the uh, uh, industrial uh, revolution, currently is the service economy very important, and now we are uh, a step into the experience economy. Um, what does this mean for the creative industry? What does this mean? Oh, sorry. What does, what does this mean for marketing and communication? This means that we, uh, during the last years, we tried to improve our services. Currently, we uh, try to improve uh, the experience people uh, should uh, uh, have when they use or consume our products. So what I will show you the next uh, couple of minutes is how can you uh, have success when we are all are living in this experience economy. The first rule is People matter. Objects don't. This is Huge McCloud, uh, the CEO of a, a big PR company in the, US, in the US. And what he brings to the point is people are important. The relationships. The next thing is we have to produce value. Our products have to be, uh, have to, to uh, provide great utility for the people they use. 
As we saw before, off and on comes together. The offline world and the online world, uh, like the example of the Internet of Things, comes closer and closer. Also, uh, on the other side, uh, uh, this is for sure also important. And what occurs is the social creation. What I mean with social creation or with this topic is uh, that people trust content of social networks more than official ones. They trust the recommendations more than others. And this is a phenomenon in the communication industry. Uh, we all have to learn and to recognize. So, what concrete should you or we do in the future? The thing is, change our marketing. The first thing is, we shall change our brand strategy. What I mean with brand strategy is, uh, some of you have already uh, written one, this is really important, that you and the people which are working for you know where you want to go. You have to answer, where are you today first? Then you have to say, where do you want to go? And finally, how you want to come there? This is the result. No large papers necessary. A very easy graphics. This is today. This is in a couple of years. And this is what uh, your brand should be, what the vision of your brand should be, but not long sentences. As long as a tweet, 140 characters. And then you need different, several strategic plan passes, uh, strategic strategies, how to come there. But also, they, not, not, they, they don't have to be complicated. Just one sentence, just one word. Because papers are papers, and concepts in papers don't produce visitors. What do you think what produces visitors? Shall I tell you? magic moments. And this is what our, uh, our strategies have to focus in. How can we create mag magic moments for our guests, for our visitors? There are several tactics to do like this. A very uh, helpful one, what I'm using very often, is to focus on the brand touch points to think about how many touch points a, a traveler has during the whole stay at your hotel or during the whole uh, journey through Estonia, for example. Let's take an example, a flight. I think we heard a lot of flights today. A flight from A to B. On this flight, there are hundreds or thousands of touch points with your brand or with the brand of the uh, airline. There are touch points before, during, and after the journey. Before is, for example, uh, when I arrive at the airport, I need a parking space. So I'm looking for a parking space. So perfect could be if you as an airline or as an airport offers for, uh, reserved parking spaces. Uh, during the direct contact, for example, the check-in. You know, there are different possibilities to, for a brand to come in contact with the customer. And also there are afterwards a lot of possible touch points uh, where you can improve your brand presence. For example, uh, you could present suitable vouchers for a free taxi drive from the airport to the town just for, uh, as a surprise positively surprising for some of the, uh, the travelers. So what I want to show you with this <coughs> is that this is not a straight line. There are hundreds of different decisions the travelers can make. They can decide not to drive by car to the, to the airport, instead uh, driving by train or bus or taxi 
or they can uh, suddenly decide not to want to uh, dry, uh, fly uh, economy class, they want an upgrade, uh, everything changes with the brand contact lens and so on and so far, also afterwards. So what is to do for you? You have to think about this customer journey and to uh, think about how you can form each customer touch point with a brand contact. Here Martin Neumeyer uh, from Brand Gap, an, an expert, has uh, uh, had this very good statement, so uh, you can read it, I don't have to, to tell it to you. So what, what next? Strengths and strengths and less is more. These are two really important tactics uh, in, uh, to improve really meaningful experiences. I brought you with some example from here, from Sölden in the Ötztal in the Tyrol, uh, in Austria. Uh, they have created some uh, in, uh, three uh, platforms. They are on the top of the mountains there, and they focused on two things. Their strength is the hay of the mountains. It's a panorama you have uh, very, very seldom otherwhere. So what, what they did is they don't uh, tell the people to stand there and have a look and it's so beautiful, it doesn't work. But what they created, just a cool platform where everybody wants to stay there and to, to uh, feel the core message of the brand of Sölden. Uh, big, simply big. It's called the, the big three in Sölden. Currently in Austria there are a lot of these platforms uh, rising up because a lot of others uh, want to uh, uh, also to uh, do the same, but it's just a possibility to, to make a brand touchable, feelable. Another tactic which is really, really essential in the nowadays world of social media co-creation and so on is your brand has to be likable, linkable, and shareable. The example I brought with is from Visit Britain. It's uh, uh, Justin Reed, the head of digital media, presented it last year uh, as a strategy. What's important, Estonia Tourism, as well as Visit Britain, can't run the brand for their own. They can't run it alone. They need you. Everybody of you has to assist Estonian tourism uh, to be recognizable. Why? Because the memories the guests have with you, they help to, uh, the brand to grow. They are part of the, of the, of the, of the brand. And so what Was It Britain decided is that uh, they informed the industry that there's uh, a Facebook page where they can post their offers. And they said, please go to there and show uh, the visitors there uh, what, what, what are your best, uh, best offers. Or link to different offers. Or this is the hashtag of Twitter, Love UK. Uh, and they uh, also have a URL uh, domain shortener uh, with Love UK. Uh, everybody can use for free. So this is what, what is very important. Um, in the world of social media, the brand can, can't run by one organization. It's uh, a country brand, is built up by the whole industry. This is very important to, to recognize and to remember. So, um, change marketing. First, you have to move from simple content to stories. We heard already sometime uh, today uh, about storytelling. So here in the picture you, you see what, uh, what is meant by storytelling. Listen. People should listen to the stories you have to tell. So and how do we know that the content is a story and not a simple content? Has anybody an idea? How do we know? We know it 
if the story can be retold to others. So uh, check yourself if you in future uh, have a PR text or something else going out. Check if the people can retell it. Very easy check. So mm -hmm. uh, this is another story. Uh, this is from Wallpaper, a UK magazine of trends and uh, developments. Uh, I like it very much. It's a recommendation to, uh, to, to buy it. It's really good for have a, a few of the future. It's uh, also available here in, in Estonia. So, and, and what, there was an article about the perfect flight back. It's a fantasy flight back uh, of the uh, editors, but uh, what, what's so funny is this here. This is a map. You, can, you don't have to fold the map complicated. It's an indes, in, in, indestructible city map and you just can pull it here together and it happens nothing. So really cool thing. Uh, you don't need any origami uh, experience in, in packet again. So this is a story. You can tell it. It's like, ha, cool thing. From campaigns to context. Uh, what I mean is campaigns are still important, yes. Uh, uh, yesterday at the workshop with the Estonia Tourism Board, uh, I said campaigns are dead. Campaigns are changing. The context of campaigns has to be changed. Uh, I have here uh, an ad from uh, BMW. They show here the really cool new uh, electric cars, BMW i. And they write there that they are trendy for, uh, they have a trendy version for the city and they have a sporty vers version uh, uh, for the people who want to go uh, over, uh, faster. But the real innovation is not here in the ad. The real inno innovation currently goes beside uh, you, uh, with, uh, by using PR activities. The real innovation is here. Quipe. Who of you, has anybody heard about Quipe? I don't know if it, uh, it's common here. Quipe is a, um, a, a review and ranting platform of uh, things of your neighborhood and it's very well known in Germany and in a German speaking area. And what's new and what's really innovative is that BMW has pre-installed Quipe, this is user-generated content, on their navigation systems. So what's possible for hotels or leisure uh, uh, organizations, they can uh, attract their people, like we heard uh, before lunch uh, uh, from Rahit, uh, they, they can ask the people, please tell others uh, how, how your experience was. <coughs> so this is really important and, and also a possibility for your brand, for each of you to be on each BMW for free. It's all about the content and to put the content in the right context. Yeah, what, we, what I mean when I say campaigns are dead is we have to move from, from our uh, knowledge how to uh, promote our products with uh, uh, attractive ads in move, uh, producing experiences. I found a really cool, innovative example. It's from Nike. Uh, it's sci-fi shopping. It's augmented reality. You need your, your uh, smartphone. You download the app from Nike, and you can walk through the city. It's uh, in Los Angeles and in, in New York, uh, uh, currently possible. You walk through the city and look for where's the virtual shop, where the virtual shop of Nike is. There isn't a real existing shop anywhere in the town, only a virtual one, but you have to search it. And you only can buy a special example of the Airwalk shoe, in this shop, if you're exactly there where it is, there is nothing in real, but there's the virtual shop. Uh, this is an experience. This is brand new, and this is the next step. What I mean, instead of just a simple ad. 
yeah, and this is, this is the main change currently. We marketers, we are used to broadcast. We have a message and tell, them, uh, tell the message as many people as possible, like TV broadcasting channel. But this doesn't work anymore. What works today is from <coughs> many to many. Here is the old example. Here is the old example how to make commerce over the web. I have a storefront, people click on the storefront, uh, the, uh, uh, the storefront is promoted by an ad in a public magazine. People come to the storefront, go to the next thing, thousand things, don't know which is suitable for them, and uh, uh, hopefully they come as deep that uh, they can make a decision and buy. Today it works different. Many to many means, this is still the specific product page with the my special product. But the storefront are not longer on my own website. The storefront is, the storefront is where the users are. For example, on Facebook, for example, on Twitter, or somewhere else in the web. Because anybody recommends, hey, this is a cool product, go here and shop. So realize that your storefront is not on your website and not in your communication channels. It's in the web, and this is completely different. This is, it's so difficult for us to, um, to accept this, because the reality is we lost control. We can't control it. We can't, it's not quite true. There's a possibility how we can control it. It's if we manage to create meaningful experiences with our products, then the people will tell exactly what the experience with our brand or product is. And so I can, this is the new way of brand management. Product experience. So, in tourism, what is a real product? The hotel? The package which is bought in tour, uh, by tour operators or in the travel agency? Uh, the conference? It's a combination. It's a combination out of different things. The first thing is the core product. The reason for traveling. For example, like here, being at the conference. But then there are a lot of additional services and products which are also part of the whole journey, like the meal outside, like the, like the taxi driver uh, who drove me here. Uh, was he friendly or not? Was he helpful? Was it funny to chat with him about Estonia, Tallinn and so on? And a lot of different products. And very, very, very important is the ambience, the setting around, the scenery. One of the I have luck uh, uh, that I have a room very high here in the hotel and the scenery in the morning is amazing. The view when the sun goes up, unbelievable. So normally each visitor here in Tallinn has to get up very early, get here in the 22nd floor and enjoy this view. So this could be a product for the hotel. But this is the supplier's view. The supplier's view of the travel chain. And there's also, probably it works, no, yes, there's also a view of the visitor. The view of the visitor is a great experience. What does I mean when I talk about experience out of the customer's view? It's the brand. The brand is, out of the customer's view, the summary of all experiences he, he, uh, he, he, he has during his whole journey. Then it's the product itself. This is what, uh, what, what travelers buy and 
It's the services they get. And these <coughs> are the magic moments. Without these uh, customized services, magic moments won't be possible. So what you have to ask first is, here in Estonia, who is my visitor? Who is my favorite visitor that I can uh, build up these services? What does he need or she need? That it become a real meaningful experience. But you have to know the guests. And you have to decide which is my favorite visitor, which is my most important one, and are there others which are also important. And then build up the experience out of his view. Because they are different. They have different uh, expectations, different um, uh, interests, different uh, uh, things what they want to do. And if you're talking about opportunities, change, innovation, you have to fix today who shall be your passenger in the future, as we heard. Uh, completely different ones, not people uh, who arrived just here uh, in Tallinn. Probably people who has uh, a, a new stopover. So, what I often use when consulting is a very, very good um, tool and instrument. I recommend to you also think about using it. Uh, it uh, is developed by the uh, Leo Finland. It's the uh, learning and experience uh, a cluster uh, of Lapland, uh, and it's. It's really a helpful uh, method to uh, improve experiences. What you see here on the horizontal level are different possibilities how to create a meaningful experience out of your possibility. You can uh, take a, a care on that your product is really individual. That's no mass product. No one wants a mass product. Each consumer wants to have individual treatment. Authenticity. Extremely important. You have so much authenticity here. It's important to uh, develop products by using the things which already are existing. This is especially important for small countries like Austria or Estonia. If we want to play in the worldwide battle for visitors, we have to think about where are we really good? And not to copy the successful examples uh, which are existing worldwide, because the others always have more money. You need a story. So just take 10 seconds and think about what's the story of your product. Just think about it. Very important is that uh, products, um, travels, journeys, are then successful if you uh, not just be there or travel. You want to smell Estonia. I want to uh, taste it. I want to feel it. I want to touch it. Yesterday we had a good example with wood. Uh, I think uh, there are some ideas uh, which are inconvenient to, um, to use existing products and bring it in another way. Uh, I don't tell you too much. Uh, I, I could talk very long about it. Uh, uh, wood is very interesting uh, for um, a good, being a good experience when, while traveling in Estonia. Very important is a uh, unique selling proposition. How do your product differ to others? It's not because you're the only one. It's because of the, the, the travelers, they are looking for some specific moments. They will decide before they're traveling, is this right for me? Is this exactly that what I want? And they want to interact. The meal outside there in the restaurant it's only friendly if the uh, waiter and the waitress are friendly to me. So 
the meal interacts with me in form of the, the people. So this is very important. When I'm talking, the customers are people, the consumers are people, and you focus on people, please recognize your employees are the most important brand ambassadors you have. So these are all the things you can improve for yourself. And here in the upper, uh, upper level and the vertical level, it's the really important development of products. You can all uh, improve on this level, but your uh, real memories are only produced if you come to a higher level. If you come to a physical level, for example, if the traveler doesn't have to fear anything that, that uh, an accident or whatever could happen, or uh, uh, that um, uh, he has really also this multi-sensory perception that it's possible, that I really smell it, or uh, uh, feel the warm warmth of a fire and so on. Uh, people want to learn. People want to take with something. I, when I come home, I'm the first time here in Estonia, I tell everybody in Austria what I learned here about Estonia. So I become to a brand ambassador if you help me to learn as much as possible about your product. Uh, what was that? Where, where, where is the product you told me before? Where did it come from? No, I know where you are. Uh, you, you were it, yeah? I know where Perot Perno is. I will remember, okay? I will tell everybody in Austria. <laughs> yeah, and then there are the real... Uh, the, the, the top of the experience is if you manage to be emotional, to make the people feel your product. And if they come home, if they would change their behavior. For example, one of my customers uh, is an uh, organ uh, organic uh, tourism organization in Austria. And uh, their main goal is that people after a stay there change their way how to eat food. They should eat organic or buy organic products. This is their goal. And they do everything to, ex uh, to, to, to make this experience in the, in the direction that people change their behavior. This is much, easy, uh, much, much more efficient than just be another one who offers organic uh, uh, stays in Austria. Or a catalog or a cool website or whatever. So I brought you some quite good examples here today of uh, new ways of promoting a brand. Very, very fine does Norway. Norway has uh, developed uh, so-called scenic routes and they have invited uh, with some um, uh, contests, architects, landscape architects uh, especially, to build very, very unusual uh, points of view. And this is one of this, uh, uh, you can find it on norway.com, so really, really good thing uh, uh, to, to position in a new way. We are innovative. In Norway, you can't uh, it's not only to stand there and have a view, it's an innovative standing there and having a view. Also, the tree house there. Currently in Austria there are a lot of tree houses. This is one of Austria uh, built up. Uh, there's a, a hiking way uh, uh, in the hay of the mountain, uh, of, the, of the trees. You can walk on the top of the trees. Very interesting. This is also a really cool uh, example from Fahlberg the most western destination of Austria. What they are really doing good is they have a com their combination between culture and nature. This is really close. They have a lot of architects uh, there, really good buildings, and uh, a lot of arts there. And what they do is they have an art project. Uh, there is on the same hay of 2,000 uh, meter altitude uh, are these uh, 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 how is it called, a uh, man standing there uh, uh, and, and you can walk from one to each other and you can experience culture in a different way. So very, very interesting and also this is a very uh, uh, simple possibility to show that you have a really deep lake 
In this case, it's a, a pro. Uh, uh, it's from the U.S. It's it's an art installation. So also, you can show with this very good. My brand is different. Here are two really simple but effective new examples. This is South Africa. Do you see the clothes the three people are wearing? They are clothes normally uh, are worn in the, when you walk through, through cities, but they are going fishing. It's trendy to go fishing again. It's not the old style sitting there for hours, boring, no. It's trendy to go with your friends, and this is uh, from a, a catalog out of uh, the South African tourist office. So they put it in a new way. This is from Vienna. It's the cold Faxi, Fahrrad Taxi in German. Uh, very easy, it's uh, at the main center square there, and, and, and you s it's an innovative touch to communicate Vienna is different. This is the slogan from, from, from the Vienna Tourist Board. And finally, also, uh, by giving orientation for travelers, you have many different possibilities to uh, uh, construct brand touch points. This is, for example, uh, from Berlin, uh, a guided tour with a QR code. And uh, somebody mentioned today, who of you has a QR code reader on his handy, on his mobile? Uh, only little, 5% from here. It's so easy. You have just put your hand in there and everything works and you have a, a direct contact to your a direct relationship, to your telephone number, to your mail, to your Facebook site, to your website, whatever you want, you, or to information. Again, augmented reality. Komoot is one, uh, um, one supplier who, who offers uh, for free, or for free, uh, for, against payment for destinations, to, to use their augmented reality app, app very easily. You don't have to build it up for your own because in the moment you are ready, your agency is ready, there is something new there. So I would recommend you to use better such platforms uh, and you pay for the usage and you just have to deliver the relevant content for it. But here you can say, hello, this is a cool place or here behind there you have to go. And the people walking around have just their handy at their mobile and uh, uh, have a look on it. So, well, what to do now for you? It's easy standing here and talking and say, you have to do that and this. Most important thing is focus on the people. Think about who is your favorite guest now who is your most important one because he brings money or she brings money and who shall be your guest in five years. No more else. Don't offer variety and be open for every guest. No, they don't want open uh, 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 products which are open for everyone. They want orientation. A very helpful tool is the persona method. Just go to the web and Google for persona. It's uh, you're creating virtual people and describe there with their, their real personality. Describe your guests how they really are. Very uh, efficient technique, just read about uh, in the web. <coughs> then think about the whole customer journey in your hotel or in your, uh, when the people arrive at your destination and help the people uh, to have a contact with your brand and improve the services. And stop broadcasting and um, wasting money for ads. Go to selling experiences. This is really the story of success. You have to tell stories and think about how can people retell them again. Uh, like over there, there's the, the brochure uh, from the child. Uh, how is it called? The, the, uh, 
little, uh, not the perfect, there's a real customer churn in it. Go there and have a look. They made it perfectly. Except that you don't have any control about your brand. That's true. People have it. And therefore, the experience is so important. Be mobile, 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 be mobile. In 2015, there will be more mobile internet uh, connections than uh, other, uh, with other computers. So prepare to be there. How can you prepare? Provide good mobile usable content, not more. You don't, have, you don't need apps or uh, iPhone apps or iPad apps or Android apps. Content, which is mobile usable. And finally, add value. Hopefully, <coughs> I added a bit value uh, with my thoughts today. Um, yeah, thank you very much. You're a great audience. I was just uh, looking through the uh, the previous presenters' uh, materials, and uh, what was mentioned there before was uh, the biggest group uh, uh, that's fastest growing in the trial market are the six, over 60 year olds. So, within next uh, 10 or 15 years, it's almost 22 percent growth in that one. Uh, I just checked that the smallest group of Facebook users are over the 55 year olds. So uh, what's, uh, how do you see um, how to reach the people who are not actually connected in a way that the rest of the world is, but is the biggest group of uh, travelers within the next 30 years? Yeah. As I was the head of research and development at Austrian National Tourist Office, I know that uh, uh, data always are uh, a, a few backwards. So uh, there are some new aspects. Uh, currently, the most uh, rising um, uh, group on Facebook are ladies over 60 years. OK? <laughs> True, you can have a look <laughs> afterwards. Uh, it's interesting. I had a, a, a future workshop last week with uh, Lower Austria to the same topic, uh, because they want to focus on the consumer, which is 50 plus. And uh, there were a lot of discussion uh, how to um, attract these people. And one very important result was they want to be treated like, like everybody else. It's forbidden to tell we have special offers for 50 plus people. No one who is 50 plus wants to be 50 plus normally. <laughs> so what, what they decided is probably you know there's a really exciting book. It's called Thousand Places to See Before You Die. Okay? The unbelievable thing or the fascination of reading this book is that there are really cool experiences. So what Lower Austria decided to uh, build up content who are the hundred most impressive experiences for people in Lower Austria. And these are the things which are communicated, especially to these target groups who are older, but without saying, we have special offers for you. Thank you. Yeah, answer enough? Okay. Almost. <laughs> okay, Martin, thank you so much. Thank you very much.